Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. Yes, the video shout out in this series goes to all fellow warriors and survivors. Thank you for your continued support. And we're going to dive into what we now will call season number eight. Okay, and it's about the glimmer of hope. Okay, we start to get that back. All right, it's still there. All right, I know during the beginning okay of the awakening and the healing process god's revealing more narcs okay revealing that narcissism around us so it takes a little while and once we get here okay to this season that we realize that there are still good people out here okay it just takes us a while god has to you know he's guiding our steps okay and so he's going to reveal our enemies first that um, that is a must. It has to happen that way. That is that is God doing what God has to do to show us what's really going on, okay, in the fallen Bab Babylonian world. We get a better understanding of that, okay. But during this during that season, you start to gain back that glimmer of hope, all right? Because it is okay to feel a little angry, and you're gonna probably want revenge many of us you know, the thought crossed our mind but then we realized that two wrongs don't make a right to start with all right narcs on the other hand think the other way around okay because they reward evil for evil okay and god tells us not to do that all right but you're going to overcome that this season you will all right it takes a little bit you gotta you know acknowledge it it uh let it process you know, always working out that salvation with God, okay? Working out that salvation with our Heavenly Father. That's huge, okay? And so let's take a look at what else God God teaches us, okay? Because we learn that, you know, we don't need to seek revenge because God takes care of them. Uh-huh, he sure does. I mean, after all, he turns them over to a reprobate mind, okay? All right, so let's visit Romans 12, 19, okay? Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give place unto, unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord, okay? God will take care of it, the Godhead. Then in Jeremiah 15, 15, O Lord, thou knowest, remember me, and visit me, and revenge me of my persecutors, Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Okay? It's all part of the process. And so we learn to you know, kind of like, all right, we got to process it and, and, and let God do what God got to do. Okay? And we, we, learn, we let that go. All right? We overcome that, that initial want for revenge. Narcissistic abusers don't. They're always out there seeking revenge. And so we realize that they also inadvertently teach us how not to behave. Okay? Whether they whether they know it or not, they can, you know, they can't help it. They have no impulse control, remember? Because they're always out there trying to control things outside of their control. So that would be another part of this particular season where we start to learn to let go of things outside of our control because we now have that glimmer of hope because we know that there are others like ourselves out here and that God, mm -hmm, on his time, will bring us together. Absolutely. Okay, because he's got to reveal all of that first. And then he starts to reveal his other chosen ones to us as well. And that, oh man, it that's so beautiful. It truly is that there's more of us out here who are pushing back against the enemy and his abuse, okay? And, you know, raising that awareness and getting that heightened awareness. It's what it's all about, getting that clarity, okay? That, yes, we saw what we saw, we heard what we heard. We're learning all the red flags. We're not ignoring them anymore, okay? And so that helped us get stronger as well. Remember, the Word of God helped strengthen the Holy Spirit. The stronger the Holy Spirit gets, the clearer things become. Okay? Yeah. All right. The more awareness we gain, the more we will notice. Aha! See? There you go. 
And as always, we are here for you, right, at CHA with our individual sessions every week. You can always check the available dates and times right on the website at cdhrwdrmd.org. You can also make four easy payments using ShopPay at checkout. And if you would like if you have questions and you would prefer to call or text at 704-245-4340, you can do that as well. And we'll negotiate a great time to talk, what have you, okay? Whatever it is you got questions about the spiritual awakening and the healing process, that's what it's all about. Support, guidance, encouragement every step of the way, all right? And beyond you all, seriously. Right? When, it's just, <laughs> Cause when God starts revealing more of this stuff, and we're like, really? Uh, it stopped working on us. The enemy's abusive tactics stop working on us because no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching, listening, and for your support. Till next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father. And you keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.